Hi, my name is Pooja. I'm an integrative nutritionist and I work with women who have hormonal issues. This is my second uh, video on PCOD and today we'll be talking about the tests that you can get done to confirm whether you have PCOD or not because uh, this is not something that uh, you can diagnose yourself or uh, a layman or a nutritionist can can do this for this you definitely need to visit your gynecologist and she needs to confirm this to you whether you have PCOD or not so that is something that is non-negotiable you have to keep this in mind that uh, um, you should not be treating this yourself and confirming the symptoms yourself uh, without uh, taking an expert advice so um, how do you know whether you have PCOD or not uh, there are three ways in which you when all three tie in together is when you confirm whether you have PCOD or not first step would be obviously to identify the symptoms on your body whatever is showing up looks like if you if whatever I've discussed in my previous video if you identify with them that's the first step to identify that this could be a PCOD problem the next step would be obviously to go and see a gynecologist and uh, get an ultrasound done to confirm whether your ovaries look polycystic or not the third thing is obviously the doctor is going to tell you to get some tests done which will confirm whether uh, there is a PCOD problem or not so the first uh, test that we get done there are I've listed down six tests which are important to confirm whether you have PCOD or not the first one obviously on the list is testosterone because in my previous video I told you that uh, all the symptoms that are showing up is because of high testosterone levels and so your direct way would be to uh, get testosterone tested and if the testosterone levels come high then that kind of then links to the symptoms that you're having testosterone usually is high because of high insulin levels because usually if you have high insulin or high glucose uh, in your body then that kind of triggers high testosterone levels so the second main test that you can get done is insulin test so insulin fasting test of uh, insulin fasting test is something that you get done first thing in the morning where you have not eaten for eight to nine hours you get uh, an insulin fasting test done and if the levels are high then that can be an indication of uh, high High, causing high testosterone problem and then because of which you have all the PCOD problems um, the third and very important test that you can get done is called SHBG test which is sex hormone binding globulin so your testosterone in your body actually needs a protein which with it attaches and then rotates in your body which is SHBG uh, uh, protein which is made in the liver it is almost like you can take this analogy that you have uh, lots of passengers and there is a taxi uh, there are lots of taxis and there are lots of passengers so there if there are enough taxis then passengers will take the taxis and go if there are not enough taxis available then the passengers will kind of um, stick around or hang around there so similarly testosterone also binds to SHBG which is the taxi and then that is how it's it's not um, harmful to the body but when there is more testosterone in the uh, in the body and SHBG is low then they kind of just float around without binding to SHBG and that is when they start causing you the problem so when you test SHBG test then if that comes out low then that is also an indication that there is a testosterone problem the fourth test is luteinizing hormone test so like in my previous video I told you that luteinizing hormone keeps getting produced because the body wants to um, release an egg so it, it keeps getting the message oh egg hasn't been released so let's produce a little bit more luteinizing hormone so that it pushes the egg out so generally uh, when you get your luteinizing hormone tested then in PCOD patients it comes out high so that could be another way to figure out if there's a PCOD problem or not the fifth test is also a very important test and again it is a, it is a, uh, like an easy test to get done uh, to confirm whether it, there is a PCOD problem and that is called AMH test anti mullerial hormone test this if the figures usually come more than four then that is an indication that there could be a PCOD problem and also uh, one test which is not related to these four hormones is your thyroid stimulating hormone thyroid is is one of the main hormone tests that you every woman should get done at least once in a year because um, the ratio of uh, you having an underactive thyroid to a man is almost 1 is to 10 uh, so you have you are 10 times more likely to have a thyroid issue than a man 
and so that kind of also feeds into your hormones female hormones so that is one of the most important ha hormone tests that everybody needs to get done whether you have PCOD or not uh, but again PCOD problem could be stemming from an under uh, active thyroid so you need to rule that out so it is very important that you get a thyroid test done as well uh, and again it is very important that you get a full panel done of T3, T4 and um, uh, thyroid stimulating hormone so you just have to ask them to get a full panel done so that you get a clear picture of the full thyroid functioning uh, don't get just a TSH test done which will not be like a full you won't get a full picture out of that so a TSH full panel test needs to be done so now when you get these six tests done and also you uh, get your ultrasound done and which confirms that you have polycystic ovary and also you are showing up with these symptoms of irregular periods or no um, egg getting released or you have uh, male balding patterns and things like that then you, when you put all these three together then it confirms that you have a PCOD problem uh, in my next video I'll cover what exactly um, the medical doctor is going to do so the gynecologist what is the medical protocol they're going to follow because now they've understood that there is a hormonal issue uh, and how do they correct that what kind of medication will they give you what kind of hormones they're going to give you from outside uh, which is then going to correct this um, for you so I'll be talking about that in my next video but before I do that I really would want to uh, say over here that um, you need to take responsibility for your disease so if you are someone who has been diagnosed with PCOD uh, you need to be on the driver's seat for this you need to be looking after yourself and you need to know what kind of medication is being given to you if these tests have been done or not whether there is an ultrasound report that actually confirms and it corroborates with these tests or not because uh, for example if you go to a gynecologist and she sees um, polycystic ovaries under an ultrasound and says you have PCOD and then uh, she start puts you on medication that not that might not be the right protocol because he, it has not been confirmed with the tests the test might come out absolutely normal in which case that might not be a PCOD problem it might just be that the cyst the ovaries are polycystic in that month and in the next two couple of months they just disappear automatically because that's how they're supposed to do so it is very important that you take responsibility for your treatment you ask the right questions from your gynecologist and also ask questions about the medication that is being given to you why is it being given to you what is it going to do for you what is the side effect of that medication you need to ask those questions because it's your body and you need to know what is being done to you instead of just being um, just surrendering yourself to a gynecologist because there are good gynecologists who will ex take extreme good care of you but unfortunately there might be some who might not be um, uh, that aware of your problem so uh, it is very important that you take the responsibility of this problem and address it yourself in terms of what is the protocol that is being given to me so in my next video I'm going to be talking about the medical protocol I hope uh, you find Found the information so far useful whatever I've covered and I will be uh, seeing you in my next video thank you